I'm thinking that there must be so much creativity inside people's brains that will never get out. And I think that only in this room there's a lot of creativity inside your brains that will never get out. Because to get out, the creativity needs to be like canalized through a craft. And a craft that often takes a lot of time and effort to learn. Like painting, for example. I believe that you might have the most amazing paintings inside your brains. But the hand that holds the brush just doesn't cooperate with the brain. <laughs> and I don't think that the paintings inside your brains have to be amazing or something to deserve to get out. I just think that letting creativity out makes people feel good, and that's amazing. So, what about music? I love music. I think music is great. And I love the fact that when I hear a song, I'm able to like it or dislike it. Or maybe I kind of like the melody, but I don't like the drums that much. So, obviously, I do have a lot of thoughts and preferences about what I hear. Thoughts that I think that I should be able to create something with instead of just thinking if I only had access to the craft needed to create music. So, four years ago, when I turned 25, I got this uke from my sister. And I thought, perfect, now it will finally happen. I will learn how to play an instrument, and I will be able to create my own music. And I thought, maybe I could learn a software as well and start to create like uke house music or something, and and get famous, like Avicii, maybe. Um, but no, of course not. I struggled to learn some chords on the uke, but it was impossible. And I wanted to create music, not bend my fingers in impossible ways. So I gave up. But actually, I got some revenge on the Avicii thing. Um, because me and some friends were DJing at parties that we organized at Beckmans, the school that I went to, and we were no pro DJs at all, we were beginners really. Um, but one night we wanted to at least feel like pro DJs. So we created this program by using a webcam, some face detection technology, a picture of Avicii, and a big screen. We made this. It might be hard to see on the pictures, but the webcam was filming the DJs, us, and then replacing our faces with Avicii's face and then showing it on the big screen. So at least we looked like pro DJs. OK, so back to the uke fail. Um, I had faced the fact that I won't be able to learn how to play an instrument. But I still wanted to create music, so I thought, can I do something about this? Or what do I actually need to create music? And I made this list needed to create music. And I need tones, and I need to be able to play these tones exactly when I want to, and I need a beat, and also to keep the beat then. So I started to think about different ways of doing this, and I was looking for something that anyone could do without any practice at all. And I thought, what if this could be music? So I started to experiment with an RGB sensor to trigger sounds from a media bank. So when pointing the sensor at different colors, I could trigger different sounds. And I also made this. I put the sensor on a turntable, and now I could actually paint my own vinyls. But I was looking for something even more flexible, because if I just wanted to move one single tone, I had to repaint the whole one. So I thought, what if playing with blocks could be music? And actually, here it is, the beat blocks. And I will show you how it works. <laughs> so, by placing these small blocks 
on the turntable, you trigger different sounds. So, and every turntable is like its own instrument. So, here is like the drums, here is the the bass, and this is like the keyboard. And so I start with the bass. So if I if I just place one block here and press play, it sounds like this. And if I move it one step, it sounds like this. And so on. I think you get it. Okay, so if I place the blocks like in a stair like this, it will obviously sound like this. Okay. And it's the exact same thing over here, but with a different sound. And of course, you can just place them randomly also. So, something like this maybe for the bass. Yeah, pretty nice. <laughs> and if you want a tone to be longer, you just add more blocks. Like this. Okay. And over here is the drums. So here is like the kick drum, a hi hat, some other drum, <laughs> some sound, <laughs> and some sound. Okay, but together with the bass here, I think it would be nice with maybe just four kick drums to, to start with to create some kind of beat. Now I have like a nice beat, I think. But maybe we could use also <laughs> a hi hat to this. And you can always try to speed one up or slow it down and see how it sounds. But I think we could use actually even more drums. So I play. Some drum blocks here, maybe like this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and over here, maybe just one single tone would be nice, I think. Yeah. I think I'm quite happy with this one now, actually. So, what we have actually done now is that just by playing with these small blocks, we have created a song. So thank you very much for listening. Thank you.